I joined Oxford University in October 2018 to pursue my PhD on Shakespeare in the English faculty. My assessors at Oxford failed me by reasoning in the assessment report that Shakespeare does not have scope for doctoral level studies. This constitutes a fundamental breach of contract. The assessors are motivated by racial bias when they fail my PhD. I face systemic bullying and harassment issues from Oxford's English faculty. I joined Oxford University in October 2018 to pursue my PhD on Shakespeare in the English faculty. In November 2021, during an internal assessment process known as the confirmation of status, in the fourth year of my studies, my assessors at Oxford failed me by reasoning in the assessment report that Shakespeare does not have scope for doctoral level studies. So uh, is it right to do that uh, or is it a breach of contract? Yes, it actually is a breach of contract because when I apply to Oxford, I clearly mention in my application that my PhD thesis is going to be on Shakespeare. The scope of my PhD thesis has continued to remain the same since the time of my application to Oxford and therefore I believe that uh, this constitutes a fundamental breach of contract when the university failed my PhD exam by reasoning in the report that Shakespeare does not have scope for doctoral So did you file studies. any complaints or any appeals did you do to, did you do to the uni? Since December 2021, I filed several appeals and complaints in various stages, both within the university as well as in the office of the independent adjudicator about my PhD problem. The reason that they first of all refused to uphold my appeal, the university refused to up uphold my appeal and the OIO also refused to uphold my appeal. But why? Like, was there any reason to do that? The reason that they have given is that the assessors are credited scholars of Shakespeare and if they decide that Shakespeare does not have sufficient scope for doctoral level studies, then quote unquote their academic judgment must be uh, accepted. However, I'm not challenging the ac ac academic judgment of the assessors, I'm challenging the decision on the grounds of racial bias and procedural irregularity. So what racism did you face? Well, uh, there were two white students in my own October 2018 PhD cohort who pursued their PhD thesis on Shakespeare. Hmm. Their PhD thesis on Shakespeare was approved while mine was not. So I believe that uh, the assessors are motivated by racial bias when they fail my PhD by saying Shakespeare lacks scope for PhD studies. And the other thing is, after they failed my PhD, they forcibly transferred me to the master's course without due fo process being followed and the university can transfer you from PhD to master's if you fail PhD? There is a due process that they must follow and for students under similar circumstances uh, they follow due process whereas mm -hmm. in my case yeah. they forcibly transferred me without my, my consent and violated the principles of natural justice by transferring me to the MLET before I could even appeal the decision and have the outcome of that appeal. So this is discriminatory. Throughout my case, I've been denied procedural fairness and decisions have been made in an arbitrary and discriminatory manner. So uh, like, uh, did you face any uh, bullying or any harassment? Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, I faced systemic bullying and harassment issues from Oxford's English faculty. In 2019, one of these confirmation assessors who failed me bullied me at a seminar event, following which I had to stop attending all the seminar events because I felt uh, ostracized after being uh, subjected to harassment in a targeted manner by a senior academic. So was it because of your race or did you do anything? I think race was certainly a motivating factor behind the professor um, targeting me in that manner. And when I sub submitted my appeals and complaints, when I raised this matter, yeah. um, the faculty, the English faculty at Oxford, honored the very same professor I uh, challenged hmm. and raised complaints about. Uh, by. So was it right to do that or they can do it? I think it violates 
the integrity of the harassment complaints procedure because you are an indian and you are representing india uh, you are an indian student so the race like we belong to was it that matter like i certainly think that in matters uh, that there is a deep bias and discrimination against indian students and it sustained on so many levels uh, in the assessment process and in the appeals and complaints process when they don't uphold your appeals so we are disadvantaged seriously as a result of uh, the deep bias that they have against indian students and that's certainly my experience yeah and uh, when we were talking you also mentioned about some academic misconduct and plagiarism so i just want to ask oxford is a huge world level university and when the cases such as academic misconduct happens uh, how do you see it as an indian um i think the problem of academic misconduct and plagiarism that i faced cannot be separated from the problem of uh, racism um and i feel that there is a reluctance from the from oxford's english faculty uh to allow students of color to thrive in the field by making original contributions and there is evidence of one of the assessors engaging in academic misconduct and plagiarism of my work after she failed me and uh this development raises serious questions about the academic integrity of the 2021 confirmation decision that yeah. happened in november 2021 एबीपी गंगा खबर आपकी जुबा आपकी